dear students as we are dealing with arithmetic progression in this lecture we will discuss some problems which are based on sum of n terms of an ap In our last lecture, we would uh, see that uh, how the formula of sum of n term being derived. Now here we see some problems, as let's have a look. Question number one: Find sum of first twenty terms. We can denote it as S twenty of an AP in which. the third term i am writing the question shortly in which the third term is equals to 7 and the seventh term is equals to twice sorry the seventh term is two more than twice the third term which is two more than thrice the third term so here we have a question that we have to find the sum of first 20 terms of an ap here we don't have the value of third term or i can write it or i can say it as we don't have the value of a d but we have a value of n so to solve this type of problems first of all we would write the expressions here we have given that the third term what would be the expression of third term we all know that the third term is written as a plus 2d since we have the nth term is equals to a plus n minus 1d so by using this formula i can write the third term is equals to a plus 2d and the value is given as 7 again given that seventh term is equals to what two more than thrice the third term that means i can write it as two more than thrice the third term third term is what a plus 2d so for evaluating the value of seven term the expression for the seven term would be a plus 6d and we have its value like twice the third term and the third term holds the value as 7 so it become 23 if i mark the third term as equation number 1 and the seventh term as equation number 2 and if i operate it like solving equation number 1 and 2 what we get a plus 2d is equals to 7 and again we have a plus 6d is equals to 23 if i subtract these two equation what we get the a is cancel out by a the 2d and 6d would become minus of 4d is equals to minus of 23 plus of 7 the resultant would be minus of 16 that means d is equals to minus of 16 divided by minus of 4 minus will neutral out the minus and the value of d become 
if we have the value of d then we can write a plus 2d is equals to 7 that means a plus 2 we have a value of d like 4 so it becomes 7 so I can write a is equals to 7 minus 8 which is equals to minus of 1 so see after solving the two expression we got value of d is equals to 4 and the value of a is equals to minus 1 according to question we have the value of n which is equals to 20 so we can further solve it as we have to evaluate s of 20 so s of 20 would become we know that sum of n terms is equals to n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into t so I can write it as n by 2 2 a a that means minus 1 plus n minus 1 that means 20 minus 1 whole multiplied by d which is equals to 4 <coughs> so sum of 20 terms become 20 by 2 which is equals to 10 2 of minus 1 which is equals to minus 2 plus 19 multiplied by 4 as of 20 is equals to 10 multiplied by 19 fours are 76 minus of 2 so the whole expression would be written like that and the sum of first 20 term would become 7 4 0 this is the general question which is being asked in exam summarize we have to find the value of s 20 and given that the third term is 7 third term can be written as a plus 2d and the seventh term is given in terms of third term as we have the value of third term then we can easily solve the value of seventh term now the third term I denote this as equation number one and the seventh term I denote it as equation number two after solving these two equation I got d is equals to four and a is equals to minus one now we have to solve the expression for the s20 s20 is equals to 20 by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into t after solving this we got s20 is equals to 740 this is the general type which is being asked in exams here we take in another example like find sum of all odd integers between 2 to 100 which are divisible by 3 here we have a simple question which is asking us that find the sum of all odd integers in between 2 to 100 in between 2 to 100 we have the integers which are divisible by 6 as 3 6 9 12 15 up to 99 now here the question being asked as find the sum of all odd integers the 6 and 12 and 18 would be considered as even integers so I summarize this series as 3 9 15 up to 99 see here the last term is also given so we would take the formula of Sn Sn is given by n by 2 a plus l here a is equals to first term and l is equals to last term first term is equals to 3 and last term is equals to what 99 
but we don't have the value of n so for value of n we use the another formula here we marking this expression as equation number one we all know that that the nth term is given by a plus n minus 1 into d so nth term here is 99 is equals to 3 plus n minus 1 d is common difference here the common difference is what common difference is equals to 6 so if I take the 3 from RHS to LHS we get 99 minus 3 is equals to n minus 1 multiplied by 6 and the whole expression could be written as n minus 1 into 6 would equals to 96 or I can write it as n minus 1 is equals to 96 upon 6 which is equals to 16 or here we have the value of n which is equals to 16 plus 1 as 17. So if we have the value of n we can put the value of n in equation number 1 what we get as n is equals to n by 2 that means 17 by 2 a which is equals to 3 and l which is equals to what last term 99 so here the value of s n can be written as 17 by 2 multiplied by 102 the 2 would cancel out 102 as 56 times so s n would equals to 17 multiplied by 56 and the whole result would come 9 5 2 so here we have the sum of all odd integers in between 2 to 100 which are divisible by 3 and whose sum is given by 9 5 2 again we can see yeah we can summarize this problem odd integers between 2 to 100 divisible by 3 so divisible by 3 that means 3 6 9 12 15 these are all multiples of 3 uh, up to 100 it would be last term as 99 so again <coughs> there is a foundation like odd integers so I eliminating all the even integers what we have 3 9 15 up to 99 the formula of Sn is equals to n by 2 a plus l. Why we use a plus l? Because we have directly the value of last term. Now here we didn't have the value of n. So Tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 into t. After solving this expression, we get n is equals to 17. That means there are 17 integers in between 3 to 99 which are odd and which are all divisible by 3. Next. We move on the formula of Sn is equals to n which is 17 by 2 and a plus l. a is first term which is equals to 3 and l is equals to last term which is equals to 99. When I solve this expression I got the sum Sn is equals to 952. These are the general problems which are being asked. Thank you.